welcome to Totten College. We're very proud of the achievements of our students and we've worked hard to create an environment in which individuals feel valued and can reach their full potential in whatever they choose to do. Let's take a look at some of the activities which go on at Totten College and hear the story of college life through the voices of our students. So now we're doing a practical invest investigation to see whether temperature has an effect on membranes and the way they work. Cut five cylinders, put the five cylinders into um, test tubes and the test tubes are in water baths at different temperatures. But you see what I mean about the pink always going to the bottom and you have to give it a good old shape. 52. Are you cutting the, yeah, the skin off? Yeah, it's 90 degrees, yeah. 12. Yes. If you want to get an A, there's a little bit more you've got to add. Let's have a look. Where is it? I need you to show where anti-discriminatory and anti-bias practice is. There's a job going at learning allowance, because you said about studying Yes, yeah. Well. So have you you've done that? that? Yeah. No, I haven't done it yet. Doing but you're going to. Yeah. I came to look over here and it's excellent. I love everything about it. It just felt right walking around the corridors and I just, I could see, imagine myself going to this college. One of the things that attracted me to this college was the sports academy. It's got great sports facilities and it had the um, courses that I wanted to choose. Basically, I like the teachers. People seem to be really interested in me. Close to home as well, so kind of convenient. And there's a coach that comes especially from Totten College to Salisbury and back. Totten College is a lot friendlier than um, some other colleges I looked at, um, being a lot smaller. It was exactly what I wanted to do. Alors, nous avons discuté si ces opinions sont pour ou contre l'usage du téléphone portable. Discutez si vous êtes d'accord ou pas d'accord avec chacune de ces opinions. Je suis d'accord parce que euh, j'ai un portable et je n'ai pas d'argent. Mais il y a beaucoup de, de gens qui, qui n'ont pas été exploités. I take two objects, both about the same size, and I drop those from the same height. Which one's going to fall to the ground first? Heavy golf ball, very, very light table tennis ball. Both three at the same time. Super ball, tennis ball. And which one have you got there, Andrew? Blue tack. Blue tack. 0.1 metres. About 102. Find for each of the, your individual ones the speed of separation. When I first came to college, it was quite intimidating having to meet new friends, new teachers. But you're all in the same boat, you're all on your own, and so you have to make friends. And everyone's friendly here. It's not a massive college, but it's small enough to get the right advice and help that you need. I just got straight in and got lots of new friends now, so it's really good, you just got to hang in there at first. It was a little bit of a shock, the level of work to begin with, but um, it was, we had a lot of support. We all picked out the work quite quickly and are now working where we should be. Now, you can choose your own IV. In other groups, they've chosen things like gender or whether you're left or right-handed or thickness of your finger. We're going to do gender. You'll do gender. Give them like 10 seconds, see how many times they drop it. Right, now I'd quite like you to write out hypotheses. There will be a difference in the ability to balance the pen between females and males. <laughs> Now, how stylish was that? That was a good effort. I'm, I'm impressed. Any questions for Jenny and Tom about applying to Oxford, what it's like studying at Oxford? Do you not feel like when you walk in the gates, everyone knows like triple the amount you know? You really do have to believe you can do it, but you can, because they wouldn't have picked you if you couldn't. What are the interviews like? Pretty nerve-wracking. They'll take to pieces one of your essays. How have the few, last few months evolved to help you make your career choices? Well, when I came into Tottenham College, I was quite set on being a maths teacher. But after you arranged my um, work experience, I went to an engineers, a civil engineers, um, Giffords down the road, um, and that just opened my eyes to engineering, really. It looked really, really good. These people spent thousands of pounds to go to a paradise location around the world. And I want you to look at what has happened to these people and the implications that food poisoning has had on this particular country. <laughs> More than 100 people, so... 
not just a few people, probably be in the press. It's going to look bad. The cause of it was an orange mousse, so that must be orange. the eggs. It may seem that you've just done your GCSEs and the last thing you want to be doing is going back to school, uh, well, but college is it's completely different. It's more relaxed. And I think that helps because if you've got problems you can easily talk to your teachers. There's a lot more time that you can have to yourself to do your work. You've got far more freedom. Um, I think you've got to be more responsible though. It's a lot more one-on-one -on -one basis at college. You're treated so much more like adults. We're there because that's what we want to do. You have to set your own standards. You can shine a bit more because you're more independent. You are pushed hard, but I think a lot of it comes from within. You don't realise it's happening, but then suddenly you're aware that you, you have to put in a lot more effort. It's once you've passed that kind of barrier that you realise you actually have got to do the work yourself, and there's a lot of work still to do that people start to do really well. Now you want to learn the background so you can help yourself. You can't flag your way through the exams either, it has to be really specific. It's not all geared at exam results, they want your personal achievement as well. It's what I like to do and what everyone on the course wants to do, so they have the passion to take it through. Slow drops and net shots and smashes, push for the back foot. When you come to the fitness suite at Tottenham College, you come to the machine, you type your pin number in and it sets all your machines ready. When you finish your workout in the gym, you can come to the machine again and look on your stats. So you've got charts and graphs and line graphs and see how you progress. How long will you be doing this for? Uh, 15 minutes. Good, good lad. Well done. Mars bar. Oh, yeah. Only a very small Mars bar, but a Mars bar. Do your spin move. That's it, nice and close. Left hand to right hand. Concentrate. Job chub. Finish it, JP. Swift. Put it in. Go change side. Drag the ball back underneath your body and turn. 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 Good. Yeah, well done. There is no written rules for a warm-up, OK? Other than the guidelines that I've just been through with you now. I don't think many colleges have got such good sports facilities. Sauna, steam room. This academy gives me extra training hours and better fitness. It lets me relax. Like, as well as doing academic subjects. Some of the good ones play for Hampshire. Playing for Salisbury City. Some of the others just play at club level. I'm playing at a higher level than I ever have been. And some just play for pure, purely recreation. Social life in the college is really good, I think. Um, I'm part of the student union, so I have quite a lot of responsibility in organising events. But you never feel, like, out of place. It's always very welcoming. There's a TV in there, you as well, so you sit there and watch a play pool. There were gigs played by bands at the college. There's students from everywhere. I mean, places I never even heard of before. It seems to be very, really vibrant. Even though, even though people are in the middle of exams, I've always found this place to be really, you know, cheerful. What I'd like you to do now is to write a sentence underneath saying the 5% that I have in the answer means, and then in your own words, write down what you think that means. The money you put in, you'll get 5% of it back extra. Brilliant, well done. So what have you concluded in that case? Percentage is higher, you get a greater rate of return. Excellent. So you gently remove all traces of eye makeup, take the whole lot off the bottom as well. And you've got to keep reassuring them. Keep reassuring them. Talk them through every step of the procedure. Is that right? Yeah. Thank you. Today I might have a client coming in for a half leg wax. So I'm, I'm terrified. I'm so scared. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover your eye and leave it to develop. We have a tutor who we go to for 
a quarter of an hour to half an hour every week who you can talk to. You always know that they're, they're there to support you if you need them to support you. They build like a relationship where you have trust and respect. If things were starting to go wrong, um, I'd probably turn to my tutor because she has been um, She's been really nice and really kind, helped me settle in. With support from the staff and, f and friends who are also in the same situation, you, you manage to get through everything and um, you get good, get good grades. If you get behind on your work, then the teachers will chase you up for it and make sure that you actually do keep doing it and keep trying. They're there to help you, they're not there to like punish you. They make sure that if you don't understand the work, you come to see them. They've been really helpful. Can you tell us what your area of study is then? Teenage mothers and with their negatively stereotyped in contemporary society. I'm still piloting the questionnaire, but I'm just going to give it to people that I know and can get it back to, say, people in my street. Um, a new gram? What's your um, I'm doing whether disabled students are equal in mainstream education. It sounds dead interesting what you've done. You've got everything from IT to religion to drug taken amongst adults. You've shown great imagination and inventiveness. That's really lovely makeup. That's lovely. Staff in position, then. Are you ready? Miss Chop, and I'm the sweetest, prettiest little maid in the whole of Dorset. Hopefully go on cruise liners, eventually have my own salon, and uh, be known nationwide. <laughs> I'm hoping to do medicine. Hopefully looking to go to university, perhaps look in the field of sports therapy. Cardiff University next year. I'm thinking about doing a history degree, but I'm also quite interested in joining the army. I've applied for six universities, and I've been accepted at all of them so far. English and drama degree. Eventually get a high pay job. Taking a year out um, to go travelling. Degree in professional photography. I hope to be calm and air hostess when I leave college. Maths, probably at Cambridge. I might take a year out and study journalism abroad. Definitely going to university to carry on with maths. A degree in music performance. University to study German. I want to do something in the music industry, uh, whether it be an engineer or famous performer, I don't know. If I were trying to explain to you in a nutshell the uh, reasons for the First World War, I would get you lost. So you're going to start doing this. And what I want you to find today is anything on these websites you find moving, interesting, anything that jumps out at you from these website pages. Be a bit selective. Do a little bit of editing. This is only like 1916, is it? Oh my god, the French incurred nearly 400,000 casualties, the Germans nearly 350,000. At this point, the Germans are still pushing. Weigh up what you're good at, what you enjoy doing, and what you think might be useful in a career. It's worth talking to your teachers at school and going to open days and taster days. Actually go to the colleges and get a feel for them. Keep an open mind and just do what you want and do what you feel is right. If you're struggling to decide what college to go to, because of like you're not sure whether your friends are going, just ignore your friends. You make you make a lot here. Make sure it, you're willing to put in the work. I'd say go for it. Choose what you want to do, though, not something that you feel pressured into doing. But enjoy whatever you do as well. It's really good. I haven't regretted it at all. So, and I'm staying on for the next year as well. Well, I'd definitely recommend Totten. Spot on. <laughs> that was great. It's definitely worth coming 20 miles. I love being at college. I'd never change it. It's really good. It's the best decision I've made. <laughs> I'd recommend it, definitely. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it's brilliant. It's a great place to come to like achieve your best.